athletes, one in Fanatec Esports and two in Auto Slalom. Welcome, Croatia. Thank you very, very much. Okay, just an info guys, we are gonna be starting in about 30 minutes. I think about 30 minutes until the briefing and then we shall go. Croatia team. Samo da se javim. Ja baš te slušam na to. Da. Tu. Ovo je jedno. Uber ide. Tri. Niki. Let's say hi. Hi guys. <laughs> Hi guys, I'm here with my president of the Federation, so that way, would you like to say something? Uh, of course, uh, we have, uh, I think, a uh, good competitor and uh, I really like that, uh, that this uh, esports discipline is uh, really far, far uh, the most uh, strongest one with 50 plus countries and uh, we'll have a really strong competition. So, uh, good luck to everybody and uh, especially to you. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs>
I guess we are going into quarterfinals. As you can see, it's pretty, it's pretty loud out here. So if you have a trouble hearing me, I mean, you can see it's very, very loud. Either way, let's see you later. Not much more to say. Just a few minutes, we will start with practice for the first group. Leading the field now out of turn 10 through turn 11 here as it sweeps its way around this sector. Trying to swallow up Muto. It's going to be three wide as they come down into turn two. It's going to be three by three almost. Baldwin looks ahead as there goes the Italian driver Ovosio down the inside. And we've already got carnage, Jesse. One car off of the wall up in turn two. One car didn't even make that. That's Luca Lazio from Italy. Huge contact there in the route. So Miguel from Croatia has had a huge accident as well. That car spun around. They're all at the back of the field now. But he has done a great job of driving defensive, Jesse, but not too, too defensive. He hasn't been riding the line that they cost him time, but it's just been positioning that car in a way where Oscar Lazio leads the ball as their single file line astern again. None of these drivers quitting. None of these drivers giving in. None of these drivers tapping out. This is going to promote Matika. Okay guys, we are into the semi-final, so I managed to finish in P10. Unfortunately, I had a contact in turn two. I dropped down to last place on the grid, kind of did the recovery. I had some damage in the race that cost me like a couple of seconds in the pit stop, but in the end, it's P10, I'm into the semi-finals, and we'll see tomorrow if I can manage to get it into the finals. See ya. From Croatia, we have Mihail Matinka. Guys, we made it into the finals and we'll see how it's gonna go, but yeah, you never really know. It's the finals. We'll see. How difficult is it to perform in this environment? Really hard. Like when you do months of like in your own like bedroom effectively with no one watching, uh, there's like no well there is pressure, but it's a different kind of pressure. When you're here, like if you make a mistake, but on touch wood, uh, Everyone can see it, so uh, yeah, it, it's different. It is hard. Uh, I've had a few of these events now, so I'm sort of getting used to it, but uh, it's really good fun, though. It's really good fun. Go! Massive time! 
Folks, um, shit, the lighting, the lighting is pretty bad, but I hope you can uh, see me. P16, I'm kind of happy with the result, and we can just move it from here. <laughs> see. Ya. Deux pays, comme on le voit, on trouve la 